California, Staples Center, Jack in the Box, game summary. Let's just summarize the great career. Third most points in NBA history. The MVP in 07 and 08. And Stu, what's most important? Five championships. That's what it's all about. And there it is, the five-time NBA champion, Kobe Bryant. And his swan song here tonight. You know, you could just run down some of the great moments of his career. You know, some that come to mind, the 81 against Toronto. Outscoring Dallas in three quarters in December of 2005. The 61 he dropped at the Garden. If you're going to try to list uh, his highlights, oh, these are just some. You're going to need about another I week. Well, we, we got a few more minutes. <laughs> you're going to need more than that. Yeah. When he made the free throw after getting hurt, so many. But those are some great standout moments. Well, again, shot clock was down to one, and Mac again with good composure knocks down the jump. And Laker fans and basketball fans, we are in the final quarter of the season in the final quarter of Kobe Bryant's 20-year career on its way again rebound Larry Nance well done as Nance goes to the rim and follows the Bryant miss you know in the game of basketball fundamentals are important but when you especially have a guy that can jump out of the building as uh, Ingles <laughs> knocks down his fourth three-pointer all of his shots Ingles have been from three-point land he's four out of six but you must box out guys that can fly like Larry Nance Jr. He's one of five Jazz players in double digits. Down the middle, Tark Black can't control the Kobe entry. Black on the ground. Now Nance is on the ground, and they bowl it. And Mack will just throw it ahead to Neto, who scores. So, you know, the Lakers were within striking distance. All of a sudden, it's back to 14. We're going to see Clarkson in in a minute. If the Lakers are going to win, somebody's going to need to help Kobe win this thing. Although he's certainly trying to do it himself right now. Bryant. Crossover, doesn't get it. Jeff Whitney controls it. Brian has blocked 32 minutes in this game. Trevor Booker, he of the greatest shot maybe in NBA history a couple of years ago. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know I still say that's the. <laughs> I know it's right at the top of your list. Spinning and Whitney spoils the party by fly swatting Kobe out of bounds, and the crowd reacts and. You're talking about blo uh, blocking a Kobe Bryant shot in, in his final Blasphemous. game? Blasphemous. <laughs> Blasphemous. Crowder, you know, they're thinking about getting him kicked out of game for that. Don't ever do that again. Here on the lead. And hammering at home off the inbound is Tarek Black. And that's what you call a hammer there, boy. He cocked that one back. <laughs> You're under the basket. That thing comes straight down. Concussion material. Will bring it back out. Nine and a half to play. Mack looks for the entry. There is Whiffy. Taken away by Nance. Lakers on the break. Where it just looks for help. And he finds Bryant. Three ball. Yes, sir. There's 40. 40 for Bryant. Why did it take the team all year to listen to my views? I said, get the ball to Kobe, and they're getting the ball to Kobe. 40 for number 24. You were right, Jack. Kobe, I just want to congratulate you on your retirement. Thank you, Kobe, for having a lot of passion for this game and for this city. I love you. Kobe, man, I just I just want to say from another, a fanatic to a fanatic, a perfectionist to a perfectionist, I appreciate everything you've done. You attacked every day and attacked it as if it were the last. You played and you practiced and you did all those things the right way. You're a real legend, and uh, I hope uh, you're going to have a great life in the future. We just want to congratulate you on uh, the outstanding career you had and uh, hopefully you have a, a very nice retirement. You're a phenomenal person, uh, you have a great character, you're a fighter, uh, you're somebody that has inspired so many people around the world including myself. I used to think of myself as a guy who tried hard and wanted it bad and dug deep but uh, when I watched you it was just, it was too good. Thanks for the example you set for all the kids, we're giving you 
what kind of in life and in sports, the work ethic you showed. Uh, that was amazing. I'm sad now to 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 know that I'm going to be coming to the Staples Center and you're not going to be out there. It's just an amazing thing to see what you've been able to accomplish here, and uh, you know I hope to live up to what you've done. I'm sure myself, along with everybody else, appreciates everything you've done for us. Everybody, not just in in, in LA, but around the world, to Ireland, to England, to LA. They're certainly going to miss you. You've been accredited game. We can truly say that there will never be another Kobe Bryant. Enjoy your retirement, man. You earned it. Do whatever makes you feel good, man. I wish you all the best. Basketball will miss you. Enjoy the retirement. It's going to be tough. Uh, and if you want to work out at any point, I'll be here. And once again, as we honor and celebrate number 24, we have one more autographed item signed by Kobe Bryant himself. To give this Kobe recap is being brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. Stu, you've known him your entire broadcasting life. Why don't you take it? <laughs> well, you know, he's just doing what I, everybody hoped he would do in his final appearance on the basketball floor in the NBA. He couldn't have written this script any better. 40 points in his 32 minutes and uh, the crowd enjoying every one of those 40. They've been on their feet for him since well before the game started. Out of Lower Marion High School, traded for Vlade Divac. Jerry West saw him, fell in love with him, and made sure he came to Los Angeles. Uh, the rest, as you know, has the shot from the outside. Lyles, who leads, his team in scoring with 18. They only have nine made three-pointers. It just seems like a lot more because uh, Ingles has four and a few other players have two. Kobe, up it goes. He's got 43! 43 points! Well, he's listening to his uh, former teammate Shaquille. Shaquille said, get, get 50 for me. He said, ah, we're going to see. He's got 43. I think it looks pretty good. You got eight and a half to play. He could go higher than that. Ingles. He launches one taken by Huertas. No other Laker in double figures. Although, Russell is close with nine. You think we've seen a few of uh, Kobe's 40-point games? Here's Brian again. 135 of them. Another three. Yeah, that's a, a remarkable number. That's a lot of 40-point games. And that 50-plus per game stretch that he had back in the, in the heyday, right, in the peak of his career. Just ridiculous numbers. Shot clock is coming down low again, and they got the ball in the hands of Matt. Yeah, he gets right into the paint, right to the rim, blows it. Bryant's going to pick up an assist to Brunson, who dunks it home. The crowd liked to play, but they wanted Kobe to dribble through five or six people. And now it's a <laughs> seven-point game. If you believe in the dream scenario, the Lakers can get it close. Here's Rodney Hood. Oh! Great Tark play. Black. Tark Black denies. Now Clarkson to Nance. Throw it down. That's a great sequence. That is an absolute great sequence started by Tark Black. You talking about rejecting a dunk. That was big time. Hard, yeah, get some congratulations from your teammates. As Rodney Hood says, where in the world did you come from? And then throw it down and let the alley-oop go to Larry Nance Jr. for the finish. That is nice.
Huh, bar to rock. Bigger for your girl, she on my jock. Huh, now stop when we in the spot. Booty moving weight like she on the block. Woo! With a drink, I got to know. Top jeans, tattoo, cause I'm rock and roll. Half black, half white, down and low. Gang of money. Open up. Yeah, I'm running through these halls like Drano. I got that devilish flow, rock and roll, no halo. We party rock. Yeah, that's the pool that I'm repping on a rise to the top. No letting our Zeppelin. Hey, party rock is in the house tonight. Woo. Everybody just have a good time. Every day I'm shuffling. Put in a half to play. Lakers down by only five in the best defensive to offensive sequence in the season. Led by Park Black. What a defensive play on Rodney Hood. And that led to the lob to Larry Nance Jr. Off defense to offense. That was nice. That is great basketball. Look at Tarek Black. This place is electric and it stayed that way through the entire timeout. Tarek will sit for the time being. You got Randall Clarkson, Junior Kobe, and Huertas. Bryant actually over 50% from two-point field goal range. He's 11 of 20. He's hit five threes. Here we go. Still got seven and a half left. Well, coming out of the timeout, you know, you get this crowd really involved. You get a stop and then a Kobe score. Jason was Clarkson. Lyles will kick it out to Gordon Hayward. Hayward has 12 tonight. That's going to be off the foot of his teammate. That's going to come up way short. Julius Randle has it. Lakers down only five. They trail by as many as 15. They were down 82-66 and a 14-3 run. Kobe behind the basket again. Here he goes towards the goal, and we're going to get a foul. Should be in with... Uh he grabbed or Hayward grabbed him from behind. That's actually the first foul on either team here in the fourth quarter. So the ball out of bounds to Bryant. He'll get it on the handoff, trying to split the defense. In trouble, bottled up, and missed it badly. Wow. And that okay. was thrown right out. <laughs> Unforced error. Thrown right out of bounds. Lyles was trying to get the ball to the point guard, but... Errant pass, Lakers get another possession. Kobe just trying to get everything, every ounce of energy out of his body tonight. 35 minutes. 41 field goal attempts. Yeah. On a bump shoulder, right here is Bryant. Toeing the line. Out to Clarkson with three to shoot. JC all the way to score with the little runner, and it's a three-point game. Wow, they've battled back to a one-possession game, and we've got six minutes and change left. Crowd urging this end of the floor. It has let the Lakers down all year. Can they do it in Kobe's finale? Get the needed stops. Neto, fall away for two. He showed me this year more offense than I thought he had. I thought he was more of a, more of the prototypical type point guard, but he's showing some offense. Back and forth goes Kobe, swishes it through. Another splash bucket for Bryant. He's got 45 points. <laughs> this couldn't have been written any better. This, uh, this is Hollywood, isn't it? Defense! Defense! This is where dreams are made. Defense! Hayward down the middle. He'll count it. Well, the Lakers thrilling everyone at this end, especially Bryant, but they can't stop yet the other end. We're going to see D'Angelo in a moment. Bryant. He shot it 42 times. Here comes 43. On its way. And rebound to Withy. With five minutes to play. Johnson is open. 
This three ball is not going to get there. Tap once, twice. Into the hands of Huertas. Under five minutes to go. Bryant's last hurrah. Huertas throws it off of the defender. And it'll be Laker ball out of bounds with 16 to shoot. We're going to see Mack and Booker come back into the game for Utah. And D'Angelo will well, enter for Huertas. Both teams going small. Lakers uh, with D'Angelo, excuse me, with Julius Randle playing in the middle. Larry Nance out there with Kobe up front and the two guards, Clarkson and Russell. The noise of an NBA playoff game tonight. That's not going to count as a shot. Kobe has uh, insisted so many times that 2010 title, that game seven against Boston, really the highlight of his playing career. We've already talked about that tonight. Randall. He's going to find Bryant again. Mack is all over him. Kobe loses him. Now he's deep underneath. Baseline, he hit the side of the board. Kobe is just on his last legs right now. Hayward dunks it. They're trying to get an ahead for Kobe. Ill-advised. <laughs> yeah. Ill-advised. Kobe uh, with 4.15 to play. You know, he's kind of tired. Yeah. Uh, at least it seems that way. Any other situation, he'd be he'd be resting right now, but certainly not tonight. Hayward finds the open man. Too much. A, a ball movement situation for them. Taken by Clarkson. Right wing Bryant. Bryant all the way. Bryant puts it up. Oh, and it doesn't crawl over as he was in transition right wing. You can see he's barely able to get any lift yeah. as the uh, Booker glides has to go in. down and get an easy deuce. And Byron Scott takes a timeout. 346 left good timeout because the Kobe needs a little air right now the body struggling just a bit but he's put up 45 in his final game congratulate you on your amazing career as a Los Angeles Laker. It's been such a blessing for our girls and I to be there with you every step of the way. And we're looking forward to spending time together as a family, to travel and do all the things that you weren't able to do with us before. We love you so much and we can't wait to begin this next chapter of our lives together. Mwah. Mwah. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, be sure and stay in your seats after the game to hear from Kobe Bryant. And on behalf of the entire Lakers... Well, the incredible career of number 24 is coming to an end tonight, but he's thrilling us with Mamba moments once again in front of the fans that he loves so dearly in the city he grew up in and wearing the uniform that he cheered for as a child. The purple and gold glory of Kobe Bryant. We say goodbye to him tonight. And right now, Kobe Bryant on the floor, a standing ovation. He has 45 points. And there are three minutes and 45 seconds to go in his career. 
it again, you know. Hopefully he can stay out there until the game's actually uh, in its final seconds and the Lakers would have possession. He could have the ball and just hold on to it or run away with it. D'Angelo misses. Now, the most shots Kobe's ever had in a game, 47. 2002 against Boston, he had 41 in that game. He's got 45 on 45 shots tonight. He's played 38 minutes, so he's going to go over 40. Kind of what you expect it's to, you were saying right yeah, around I there. Yeah, I thought it'd be 42. Yeah, right around there, he's going to go right up against that. 93-84. Stu, I'm asking you. Uh, you know, we, we, you and I have talked about this game for a long time, and you especially coming down the stretch. Has it lived up to everything that you, as a friend and yeah. as a fan, wanted it to be? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the first thing that I wanted was for him to be able to be physically able to play in this last game. And he has, with that determination and that willpower to, to do what he does, kept himself in a position where he could play in this final game. I mean, this you're seeing... Uh, kind of the last of a dying breed in Kobe Bryant. They don't make them like Kobe anymore. Kobe, I mean, he is uh, really from the old school kind of a player that plays through things and makes no excuses. And he's underneath the reverse slam. He is three points away from 50. And if you want to see him tear the roof off one more time in front of these fans, if he gets it. 84-86, and the game is still in question. Back. Tried to bank it in from distance, and they're going to milk the clock a little bit now as Booker got the offensive rebound. Little back door underneath, and Johnson scores. <laughs> Kobe's got very little in the tank. The tank is getting close to the E, and that E doesn't stand for enough. A three would equal 50 on his final game. Bryant, still working, doing work. Kobe, underneath, count ah. if it goes, it doesn't go. And he'll get free throws to get to 49. This is eight 40 plus game against the Jazz in his career. I mean, this is a play where Kobe makes nine and a half times out of 10. This one doesn't fall for him, but he is at the line for his ninth and 10th free throws. How much legs does he have left? That's why I think he's been going to the basket a little bit more on the final few possessions where he doesn't have to elevate as much to shoot the ball from distance. Now, well, this free throw would get him one away from 50. The cameras are out documenting the moment. The chants continue to echo through Staples Center as they have through his entire career. 49 points for Kobe. Again, stick around right after the game. Kobe will address the crowd as a Laker for the final time. Yeah, but I, I go back to his work ethic. I mean, there were times, there, all the time, especially with the, at the start of the season, when we in camp, and players would be dreading, they'd be tired to get that first practice in. Well, Kobe had already been in the weight room and uh, worked out for a couple of hours and then go to practice with them. A basket equals a 50-point game. Kobe underneath. He's got 51! <laughs> Just like the script was semi-written. The only thing that's missing is a Laker victory. And we're going to get a travel. And so now it's a two-possession game. Could it be a two-possession game? Here's his 19th field goal, Stu. <laughs> He's just, the crowd is just absolutely out of their minds right now yeah, they are delirium they're just so so happy 26 yeah. career 50 point game and that face oh man he is so look at him trying to get air yeah. <laughs> i used to tease him a few years back many years back to be true about it about him having a third lung because he never seemed to get tired down the middle he goes corner of the key he's got another one and it's a four point game 53 points. <laughs> Boy, this is amazing. 
is what everyone came to see. And will he have it in his hands in the final minute with a chance to tie or win? Hayward trying to spoil the party. He misses. One minute coming up to play. Kobe with the ball and the Lakers down four. Bryant on his way. It's a one-point game. He's so tired he can barely pick his feet up. Look at him. But he continues to wheel himself. His ability to wheel himself and puts his wheel on the opposition is amazing. 56 points. Are you kidding me? The amazing Kobe Bryant. You've got to be kidding me. And there is just under a minute to play, and it's a one-point game. That guy, look at him, he's just slugging along and all of a sudden he just rears up and bam! <laughs> and then he runs down the court and is like, oh wow, I still got a minute and something to go. And actually, actually have less than a minute to <laughs> look at Jack. Jack's saying, yeah baby, I said 40, but I'll take 56, I might even take 60. Jay-Z, everybody totally amazed by the Black Mamba. And he is locked in right now. And uh, his teammates know it. They know the situation. There's Shaq. He called for 50 earlier in the year. He called for 50 again tonight. And he got it. They were teammates for three championships. So Kobe right back onto the floor with less than a minute to play in regulation. Wow. This is amazing i know he's had many scoring games or a lot of scoring games above this but not in his 20th year this is just absolutely incredible look at snoop <laughs> yes yeah, snoop i see you well, i'll tell you wherever you are enjoying this one tonight we are enjoying it right along with you as good as it gets tonight and here we go now the lakers playing a little bit of defense let's hope down 96-95. Shelvin down. Lyles. Not for three. Lakers will get a chance to take the lead and look who has the ball. <laughs> With half a minute to play. Bryant for the lead. Yes! Kobe Bryant gives the Lakers the lead. <laughs> I tell you something, this is, you know, he was legendary before this game. This is, this takes it to an absolute another level. An absolute another level. Magical Mamba. Take us through it, Stu. Lakers lead it by one. Oh my goodness. They've been trying to trap him, so he goes away from it and then pulls up and knocks down the long deuce. He's got 58. And the good news is the Lakers have a chance at the final shot because the game clock is at 31.6. Yep. So he has an opportunity to get six Zero in the final game of his 20th season. One of the most incredible farewell performances for any athlete ever at any time. There's been nothing to match this. It's simply amazing. 50 field goal attempts, 41 minutes, 58 points. The Lakers have come back and the crowd is roaring. And if you're the Jazz, you have to set up a play to run at Kobe. He is so tired. <laughs> and full Mamba mode, Drew Bryant, you can tell. But, but Kobe's one of those, that yeah. it, mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. And right now, he doesn't mind. He's just absolutely getting it done. Lakers up by one. Half a minute to play. Hayward. 
Now Lyles, shot clock, not an issue. Lyles for the lead, can't hit it. Ball knocked around, Lakers have it. They Kobe have a foul. It. They've got a foul. Kobe fouled with 16 seconds left. And if Bryant makes both free throws, he will hit 60. They, they had a foul to give, I believe, though. That's what I'm saying. They had oh, to foul so fast. You're right, you're right. But they've got to foul again. You're right. They've got to foul again. We all got caught up in the excitement. <laughs> He's still two away from 60. Oh, he pushed off and got Bryant. away with it. And he is fouled. <laughs> Kobe has 13 <laughs> straight points. 13 straight points here down the stretch. Well, to get open here, he uses both hands into the chest of Gordon Hayward. Even the officials are in a zone. They're like, right. we're in the Mamba zone. Bryant is 8 for 10 from the line. But does he have enough legs to get free throws? We'll see. <laughs> Two free throws for 60. A 60-point game for Kobe Bryant. Lakers, Lakers up by three. Don't, don't give up any fouls. Hayward all the way. Misses. Taken by Randall. Bryant ahead with seven seconds. Clarkson. No. The Lakers are going to win it. The Lakers are going to win it. What a performance. What an exit for number 24. You couldn't have written this. You are watching one of the greatest performances in the history of this game because of what it means, the significance of one of its greatest stars saying goodbye. This is, this is going to be legendary for a long, long time. Kobe Bryant in his final performance 60 points and what Kobe wanted the most a victory and the Kobe Bryant Lakers are 4.1 seconds away from that and again in moments after this game ends Kobe will be speaking to everyone Un unbelievable still unbelievable, Steve. unbelievable. What a privilege to be here. And he gets his ovation right here. They bring in Ryan Kelly for number 24. What are they waiting on? Well, here it is. The music is playing. I don't know if the crowd can hear. Here it is. Kobe Ryan. Utah will inbound the ball. There are four seconds remaining. It's in the Lyles. It's on its way. The game is over. And Kobe Bryant's final memory for us is a 60-point game and a victory over the Utah Jazz. This game, I mean, there's nothing to be said about this game. This will be in a time capsule of the definition 
of greatness. 20th season in the NBA to do what he did on his exit. Now as Kobe hugs his teammates and the staff, we await the opportunity to hear exactly what he's thinking at this incredible moment as his Hall of Fame career has now come to an end in the most thrilling of all fashions as he hugs Shaquille O'Neal. going to seek out the family and he does boy tears are flowing all over Southern California and all over the world who have loved this man for so long 20-year career with the Lakers Now coming out onto the floor, a lot of his former teammates, they are gathering at midcourt. It's a nice reunion for them. And a great moment for Kobe. It's Devin George and Eldon Campbell and Roni Turioff, Chris Bim, Kareem Rush, Brian Shaw. I <laughs> mean, the list goes on. He's out there. One of the most popular Lakers ever. There's LO. What a night. What a night. Adam Morrison is here. This man was on the floor when Kobe scored 81. And the glove, Stu Gary Payton. There's Frank Hamblin. He was a coach along with Phil for so many of those great years. <laughs> DJ Bingo. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my 
know, it's, uh, I can't believe how fast 20 years went by. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. And, uh, you know, to be standing here at center court with you guys, my teammates behind me, and uh, appreciating all this, you know, the journey that we've been on. You know, we've been through our ups and been through our downs. And uh, I think the most important part is that we all stay together throughout. You know, I grew up, I grew up a diehard, I mean a diehard Laker fan. Diehard. I mean, I knew, knew everything about every player that's ever played here. So to be drafted and then traded to this organization and to spend 20 years here, I mean, you can't, you can't write something better than this. And I'm more proud, I'm more proud of the fact that not about the championships, but about the down years. Because we didn't run. We didn't run. We played through all that stuff. And we got our championships. And we did it the right way. And uh, all I can do here is just thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the years of support. Thank you guys for all the motivation. Thank you for all the inspiration. And, uh, you know, what's funny, <laughs> The thing that had me cracking up all night long was the fact that I go through 20 years of everybody screaming to pass the ball, and on the last night, they're like, don't pass it. <laughs> 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 this, has been, this has been absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't believe it's come to an end. Um, you guys will always be in my heart, and uh, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. And, uh, Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. And uh, I love you guys. And uh, my family, to my family, my wife Vanessa, our daughters Natalia and Gianna, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. You know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training. And Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out. <laughs>